And they, that's exactly what Barack Obama and Michael Bloomberg and Dianne Feinstein want from us. They want our liberties. They want to match Homeland Security and the corrupt scum of the United Nations peacekeepers to come take our guns here on American soil. And I'm here to speak on behalf of every red-blooded American, especially my family who fought in the King Philip War, fought in the Revolutionary War, fought in every war there was to save our freedom here. Tell them no, you're not taking our guns, and you are not taking our freedom, because George Washington said, Guns are liberty's teeth, and those teeth are really sharp, and they're going to bite you. More people than all of the wars combined, because the vast mass of people had previously been disarmed. Sometimes it happens overnight. Other times it takes a few decades. And the establishment will have the arms and the monopoly of arms, and so there's no check or balance on that arbitrary tyranny. And so all tyrants throughout history, including present history, must make sure that the people they have conquered do not have the physical means of resistance. And quite frankly, if the American colonists had not been well armed, they would never have had their revolution. Since colonial times, Americans have understood this, that a free nation is a function of an armed populace. And the founders reflected these realities in four places in the U.S. Constitution, the most famous being the Second Amendment. This amendment states, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. When you disarm a population, you leave them open to the worst criminals of all, which are government criminals. The majority of gun owners would defy a ban on firearms. You can include me with that group. If the government were to pass an unconstitutional law to ban firearms, two-thirds of Americans with guns in their household, they would defy the lawless legislation and refuse to comply. Same here. Both. I would not comply. The majority of Democrat and liberal gun owners would refuse to surrender their weapons, the survey revealed. Most Americans also believe that more guns in the hands of law-abiding citizens, not banning guns, would help reduce crime. Yeah, you think? <laughs> well, yeah. Not only does the average American citizen believe that a, a gun ban is unconstitutional and horribly wrong, but uh, military professionals also agree in our God-given right to self-defense. In fact, recently over 1,000 Green Berets signed a letter supporting our Second Amendment. The letter's intent is to reassert their oath to support and defend the Constitution whether foreign or domestic, by protecting the Second Amendment rights of American citizens. And yes, they acknowledge that the Second Amendment is primarily a defense against uh, government tyranny. So way to step it up, guys. Uh, appreciate that. Well, within the last week, there have been two major drills conducted by the military in U.S. cities with the cooperation and participation of the police. Now, this is something we should all be concerned about. The Founding Fathers are somebody that we look up to because they're the only revolutionary leaders that did not become tyrants themselves. They understood human nature and the depravity of human nature. And they not only defeated that in others, they resisted it in themselves, and they came up with safeguards and warnings for us as to how this would happen. And one of the things that they warned us about was a standing military as well as a central bank. A standing military will eventually, and has throughout history, become a tool of oppression. It has, been, it has happened in our country in the past, where the military has been used to oppress people, and that's why we have the Capacity Comitatus Act. That was to counteract American suppression in the U.S. by the American military. Well, let's take a look at some of these recent drills. January the 28th in Houston. The helicopters and the sound of gunfire created a lot of concern this afternoon in one Houston neighborhood. This happened in southeast Houston around the old Carnegie Vanguard High School. When you see this, you think the worst. He told me, don't come home because it sounds like we're in a war zone. Guns shooting and helicopters flying around over the house. And an army major who was out here wouldn't tell us exactly what kind of thing they were doing. So, you ATP son of bitches. was aware of what was going on, but the fire department apparently. Well, this is the military assault on a school. 
This is done with helicopters, with guns firing, with troops on the ground. The residents thought a war was breaking out. They did. It's not the survivor you promised me. No, it's not. up now and prepare for the future. on my youtubers all right so i am at the chl lane today today is my birthday and i'm enjoying myself over here at brad and guns and uh check out what i got today of course well i just wanted to bring my 45 so this is what i got right here got my gloves of course right here got my 45 and uh well i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna go ahead and load it up now Ay -ay -ay. Oh man, first shot of the day. Just need a place to put the camera up. Uh, where's a good place I can set this thing? Oh shit, like everything like that. Eh, yeah, well the camera is. Alrighty, so I do have my government issue uh, earplugs here today. About the only thing I would ever get from the government earplugs. You know, so if it works for, unfortunately, those people, it should work for me. But I choose to be good, so it should work really well then. Sorry about the camera falling over, there's just not really a good place to put it. Try to give you all a shot of everything here. Camera falls over, camera falls over, can't really help that. Uh, Woo! Gosh dang. Get my gloves on here. I'm gonna basically have the camera rolling as much as possible because like I said, this is my birthday. I want y'all to enjoy it with me. And uh, yeah, all right. I don't even know how many rounds are in the mag. Today I am shooting steel cased ammo. Uh, basically it's tool ammo, so you know, We'll see how it runs. All right, so uh, basically, uh, right here, this is a fresh target right here. Uh, as you can see, there's no holes in it. So we're gonna go ahead and back up here. I think it's like five yards. Back here, right here. This should be 10. All righty. Let's do it. Woo! First shot. First shot, check it out, man. First shot of the day, bullseye, all right. I know Mitchell's saying something about that. All righty, okay. So let's go ahead and uh, let's do it again. Woo, 
Oh, I think I was shaking a little too, too much on that. You have to excuse me. I don't really come out here that much. Okay, that was bullseye right there. All right, and we are out. Uh, well, <laughs> okay, so this is what we got right here. So, uh, we got, well, if you look carefully, it's uh, one, two, three, four, and five. Barely got it in there. So it's five, mi uh, five in the bullseye and uh, five misses. So that's a pretty good way right there to start off the day. Uh, for Like I said, first shot was bullseye, so that's pretty good right there. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to continue going with it. So stay tuned. Try to get the camera set up here. That should be just about where it needs to be. I think. That should be Let. Uh, so now I get to load up the magazines. Oh shit! Hold on. There we go. Just want this camera to stay put. I don't know where to put this camera without it falling down. That's sad. Anywho, well, I'll do my very best, people, with what I got. tell this ammo is going to go pretty fast today. I should have brought more, but I can't be shooting me and Mitchell's ammo. You know, I feel bad about that, so I'm just shooting what I got in the, in the case today. Alrighty. Let's do this. It's like, let me see here. <sighs> if I could, if I could get it set up just like that, and keep it steady, that should be good. I got four shots. What's up? How you doing? Magazine release just now. It didn't like see how it's coming out just like that. It didn't come out. Or like I hit the magazine release and it stopped right here, so I had to like you know actually get it out. But generally it falls free enough. So.
I'm gonna take it real nice and slow here because I don't have that much ammo like I said people and uh like I said you know today it's really just about enjoying myself because this is uh this is my birthday so woo so Mitchell if you're watching I hope you enjoy the video and everything I'm doing the best I can you know do the best I can here So what I'm going to be doing now is uh, the bullseye is pretty uh, covered in holes and everything. So I'm basically, I'm just going to be shooting at the eight. Uh, I'm gonna, like I said, but take it a little more slower. Because <laughs> see, when I was basically shooting, went to kneeling, and I was the prone, like what's called a drop shot in Call of Duty. It kind of made my rounds kind of go everywhere, but I kind of suspected that because it's a drop shot with a 45 pistol. So, uh, yeah. Also, check out this round right here. Here's this, uh, you can see all the gunk on this round right here. I'm gonna see how this one cycles. So this is gonna be the second one in. Also, there's a little dirt in my magazines. So, uh, we'll see how that cycles. Okay, so I'm actually coming down to my very last rounds here. Uh, I literally have... Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, after these two mags, I have uh, four left. So, I'm going to try to enjoy it. It just goes by so fast, you know? Alright, well, the majority of rounds are all passing through the uh, bullseye, so there's at least that, but like I said, when I was the drop shot, kind of went over a place, but like I said, I kind of expected that. Plus, I don't get to shoot the 45 all that much, much, but uh, still, anybody, you know, breaks down the door could still <laughs> be very effective with it. So, on my last rounds here, this is my last four. I'm going to go ahead and bring the camera up. I know the last round is freaking sad as shit, I know. Uh, hold on. Get in my little pocket there. Alright, so, going to go ahead and do the last rounds here with y'all. And uh, in case you're wondering, Mitchell, yes, the earplugs are working 
so great. In fact, they're working so great, it kind of hurts my ears because like they're so, um, they're in my ears like so good. It's just like, <laughs> kind of hurts the inside of my ears. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and get this thing loaded up here. Last round of the day. Like I said, I, I had the option of bringing more, but don't worry, Mitchell, I'm not gonna shoot our ammo for when you're down here, but uh, should have had more. Going by too quick. Cause after this, it's just back to shooting guns and video games, and we all know how boring that is. But I am looking forward to seeing Mitchell tonight. So there's at least that, but he's getting off late though. You see here, can I like do like a down the sights deal? Fuck it. I, this doesn't need to hit the hit the bullets, I just want to look down the sights. Uh... Ah! Yeah, kind of figured out what happened. It's hard for me to do it one hand. I'm sorry, people. It is kind of hard for me to do it one hand. I apologize. You know, I don't do this 24 7. Like I said, I apologize. I don't do this 24 7 or anything, but this right here is the huh, last mag. So, I cannot believe this is the last mag. Base plan, by the way. I was in FaZe Clan. Well, I pretty much still am. Anyway. <clears throat> right. That's rounds of the day. This is like truly sad. <laughs> I know, Mitch, I know you're saying you're like, oh my gosh, this is like so depressing. And uh <sighs> I almost don't want to do it. I just like want to savor the moment. It's just like, oh my gosh. Um <sighs> Fuck it, I'll go for the uh I'll go for a head. There's one. All right. Well, there is that. I did get the face there. So, oh man, that was it, people. It was the uh, last two of the day, so to speak. And um, well, looks like I'm not gonna be shooting until Mitchell comes down here and everything. So, really, really, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, that's going to be a, a lot of fun because uh, just wait till y'all see people. When he comes down, we've got a very special video here for y'all to, uh, not today. Ah, I'm so used to my intro. Uh, when he comes down, we're going to have a very, very special video for y'all. It's going to be insane. Uh, let's just say 50. That's all I'm going to say. 50. <coughs> Might be 50 AE. Might be 50 AE, possibly. You never know. But, uh, got a very special video for when he comes down and everything, but, uh, unfortunately, he's not coming down until February, so, uh, you know, you're gonna have to wait on that. But I did, I do hope, Mitchell, if you're watching, you did enjoy the video. I did enjoy a day as much as I possibly can with a little bit of ammo I had. Today is my birthday, so I do, I do have, uh, more video coming for y'all on my, uh, when I blow out my candles on my birthday cake, and I hope y'all enjoy that. All right. Yo, what's up, my YouTubers? All right, so this is my awesome birthday cake right here. So I hope the future me and future Mitchell watches. I hope y'all really, really enjoy this video here. So, of course, here it says, Happy Birthday, Kevin. My last name's right here, blocked out, of course, but uh, it is there. NRA, the National Rifle Association, of course, you know, true patriot, anyway. 1776, that's when, you know, obviously America won our right. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kevin. Happy birthday to you and many more. Yep. You know, I just wanted to say something here, people. You know, this is generally at the time where. You know, obviously I would make a wish and I would blow out the candles and everything. I just wanted to say that this year, I'm not going to be making a wish. Because ever since Mitchell came into my life, all my wishes have come true, in all honesty. That man does absolutely everything he can to make me happy every single day. And like I said, he's... <laughs> I don't even have the words in my vocabulary to express how special that man is to me. So, with him in my life, all my wishes have come true. Yay! In case you're wondering, Mitch,
so yes, I do have the 500 Magnum on me. <laughs> All right. Yay!